Okay, here is a dimensional analysis video for some good practice on conversion of units. Here are some common conversions that we have and that we'll see mass and weight, volume, length, and uh, metric conversions here, which I'll talk about in a little bit. These will be given on a test uh, if they are hard to remember or you don't know them off the top of your head. We're not expecting you to memorize these, but we just want you to see that there are a lot of common uh, conversions that we like to, to do. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to throw this guy aside. I'm going to bring this guy in. This is something that I wanted to talk about. Uh, we've seen this in class. Now, this is a metric conversion scale. So we start out with our base units here. And when I say base units, I mean the units that we use for SI. Okay. Uh, and the acronym is King Henry Died Unusually Drinking Chocolate Milk. I like to say King Henry Died by drinking chocolate milk, and the by would be the base unit, meter, liter, gram. Okay, so meters for distance, liters for volume, gram is for weight, and then we also have time too, uh, which is usually not included. Time, but that is also um, one of our base units. Okay, so each one of these columns, King and Henry, died drinking chocolate milk, each one of these uh, is a tenfold scale. So each time that we move somewhere, we're increasing or de decreasing by a factor of ten. Okay, so kilogram is the largest. When I think of kilogram, I think of running a 5K, or a 5 kilometer, 5 kilometer, okay? It's a really far distance. If you think about running, that's a long way, okay? Uh, when I go all the way to the other side, and I think of millimeters, I think of the size of a, an eyelash. Super tiny, okay? And then right on the middle, I think of a meter stick. This gives me a basis of kind of what I'm going for. So I know that over here is very small, and over here is very big. Okay. So if I'm given a number, and it's in a certain amount of units, and I need to get it somewhere else. For instance, I'm going to give an example. If I'm given 20 centimeters, and I want to know how many millimeters in it. Well, centimeters are here, centi and I'm going to millimeters which is just one over here so I like to draw one loop or one arch that goes from centi to milli and when I move that way to the right I move my decimal one place to the right as well okay and I fill in a zero where this would have been so I've gone from 20 centimeters to 200 millimeters okay so here's another example, if I am in, um, let's say I'm in meters. So let's say I have one meter, and I need to go to hecto meters. So I'm here in meters, I need to go two times over to hectometers. Well, I'm going to take that one meter, there's a decimal here, I'm going to move it to the left three places. So I'm going to write one meter here. With my decimal, I'm going to move it over one, two, three places, and fill in the zeros. So I've gone from one meter to 0 .001 hectometer. Pulled this worksheet out, um, and what we're going to do is just work through as many examples as we can. Up top, you've given a box with some simple conversion that you might need to know. Okay, uh, and again, on a test or a quiz, you will be given uh, the conversions uh, that you need. Okay, so let's get started. The first one: fifty-four thousand inches into miles. Okay, so we start out with what we know. Fifty-four hundred inches. Step two, I write what I want to get to, which is miles. Okay. Step three is find a conversion factor. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here and look, see what I got. Okay. I see that in one mile there's 5280 feet, so I'm going to um, get to feet first. I know that conversion, so in 12 inches, 
I have one foot. Okay, and then here I'm using my conversion. There are 52.80 feet in one mile. Well, my inches cancel units. My feet cancel, and I'm left with a mile, which is what I wanted originally. So I'm done. I like to draw my finish line, and then I multiply across. And what I mean by that is I take everything on top and multiply it together. So 5,400 times 1 foot times 1 mile, which is 5,400. Okay. And then I divide by everything that's multiplied on the bottom. So I would do 12 times 5,280, which I get 63,360. Okay. And the answer that I get there. is 0 0.8522727. Now, with sig figs, I always want to look at the number that was given to me. And so I see 5400. I see two sig figs there. Okay. Now these right here are conversion factors, and so we don't look at these numbers for sig figs. We only want to look at what we're given. So two sig figs. So here down at my answer, I'm going to go one, two sig figs. I'm going to use this two to round. Okay. And so my final answer is 0 0.85. And then I want to include my units, miles. Next example, 16 weeks to 16, or 16 weeks to seconds. So I'm going to start out with what I know, which is 16 weeks. Draw my line. Second step would be to write out what I'm going to, which is seconds. Okay. Step three is conversion. I need a conversion factor. I know that there are seven days in a week, and so I'm going to say that one week. There are seven days. Okay. Well, these units cancel, but I'm still left with days, and I'm not satisfied because I'm not in seconds, so I need another conversion. So I'm going to say that in one day there are 24 hours. My days cancel, but I'm still left with hours, so I need another conversion. In one hour there are 60 minutes. My hours cancel, but I'm left with minutes, so I need one more conversion factor. In one minute there are 60 seconds. My minutes will cancel, and I'm left with what I needed. So I'm satisfied. Okay. I multiply by everything on the top. So I multiply 16 by 7 by 24 by 60 by 60. And I get 9,676,800. And I want to divide by everything multiplied together on the bottom. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is still 1. So that leaves me with 9,676,800. If I'm using correct sig figs, I was given two at the beginning. All of these are um, conversion factors, so we don't use them. So 16 weeks, there was two. One, two. I'm going to use the seven to round. That means I am left with 9,700,000. The zeros here are placeholders. Don't forget my units in seconds. 54 yards to millimeters. So, first off, I'm going to write what I know. 54 yards. Draw my line. What am I wanting to go to? That's step two. Would be millimeters. Okay, so first step, I need a conversion factor. So, I'm going to go ahead and look up here to see what my conversion factors are. I see inches to centimeters, feet to yards. Okay, so if I go back down here, I'm going to say that 54 yards, I'm going to go ahead and go to inches, or feet. I guess I could go to feet and then to inches and then to centimeters. So there's, in these problems, there's usually several ways to take to get to your final destination. So I'm going to go ahead and go 
yards to feet. Okay, so in one yard, there is one foot. Okay, my yards cancel. I'm left with feet, so I'm not done yet. I'm going to go up here. I need feet to go into inches so that I can use my conversion. So, in one foot, there are 12 inches. And I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. In one yard, there are three feet three feet per yard. Okay, the feet will cancel. I'm left with inches. Still not quite there. My conversion, one inch, 2.54 centimeters. Okay, so in one inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. And then now a metric conversion, which I know because of my chart, 2.54 centimeters. So, so I'm going from centimeters to millimeters. I know that in one centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. Okay, centimeters cancel. I'm left with millimeters, which makes me satisfied. And I multiply everything on top and divide by everything multiplied on bottom. And my final answer is 49,377.6. I was given two sig figs at the beginning. So I'm going to use two sig figs to round. One, two use this three. My final answer is 49,000 millimeters.